mission behind Psionic is deeply personal to me. My daughter was diagnosed in 2010 with cerebral palsy, which is a condition that affects her gross motor skills and her ability to walk. And as a parent for eight years living with her and her mobility difference, I was frustrated by the lack of solutions and the lack of technology to address her condition. And as a technologist, I had all this opportunity to bring to bear all of the amazing innovations that we've seen in autonomy and, and apply those to the human body to give her something better than crutches, canes, walkers, and wheelchairs. It was clear that if not me, who, and if not now, when? And so in 2018, I, I stepped down from my previous gig and went back to the garage and started working on Psionic. Over the course of four years, we've gone from those initial concepts in the garage to our first FDA cleared product in then Psionic Neural Sleep. When we were ready at Psionic to really go from the fundamental technologies of human enablement, we knew we needed a partner that could marry that with the human body and with the design for function that they are so amazing at. We had to really integrate a wire bus that delivers electricity to electrodes and integrating that in fabric in a soft material is a big challenge. So designing around that was number one. Number two is how does someone put it on and off? There were probably 50 plus prototypes that were made to test different scenarios and different ways to do that. And I think the third you know, most important feature is it's not designed like to look like a medical product. We wanted folks to be proud of it, for the Cyanex sleeve to really look more like, I would say, a sports product than a medical product, and also have the materiality, the colors um, that make people feel good about their recovery. There are actually 35 million Americans who are mobility impaired, over 200 million worldwide. It's a huge and growing challenge as our population ages. What we're focused on is neural signaling. So even while there is muscle strength and there is no pain that needs to be avoided, the brain's ability to actually sequence muscles at the right time during complex movements can be a huge challenge. And so what our technology aims to do is actually not replace the skeletal system in the way that a process aesthetic might, but we're actually replacing the neural signaling part of the brain responsible for sequencing gait and complex movements. And so by doing that, we were able to create a more stable and steady movement pattern, thus avoiding falls and also reducing the cognitive load that we hear from our patients about how difficult and how fearful they feel in moving. We see how we've worked with Psionic, which is really sort of as true partners working in parallel, uh, developing new ideas and developing solutions together as the future of how we want to engage in health and healthcare and design. When someone has a mobility difference, there's this feeling like I'm being taken care of or that like people have to wait for me. What we really want is for them to be able to be living in the moment and being able to engage with their community and their loved ones in a way that doesn't feel like they are being taken care of, but really feels like they're independent and part of that experience.